Good morning. Welcome back after Eid holidays. Today we will start uh, lab number six. Lab number six is operation maintenance of uh, different types of valves. Valves are one of the important uh, devices, equipment fitted in uh, pipeline in uh, oil and gas industry, mainly in oil and gas industry. If you go to any oil and gas industry, you can thousands and thousands of different types of valves. So the function of valve is actually to regulate either regulate the flow of uh, liquid or uh, either uh, stop the flow of liquid or open the flow or regulate and also sometimes it is also used for uh, uh, safety relief valve or safety purpose also and uh, except uh, safety valve all the valves are fitted in between pipeline in between pipeline not uh, uh, like uh, tap tap is different tap is at the fitted at the end of the pipe whereas valves are fitted in between pipeline and uh, safety valve is uh, not fitted in between it is uh, on the top of a boiler for example uh, on the uh, uh, steam portion that portion will have the safety valve so that's about uh, the uh, the function of valve and the valves can be classified to four generally can be classified to four different types one is isolation valve then second type is flow regulating valve then third one is the direction control valve and last one is pressure control valve these are the four different general classification of valves coming to the first category that is isolation valve again there are three types of isolation valve one is gate valve second one is uh, uh, bowl valve and third one is the plug valve these are the three types of isolation isolation means either stop fully closed or fully open that is isolation so three types of three different examples are uh, this one isolation valves and uh, in, uh, we will see one by one later and then uh, second category is uh, flow regulating flow regulating means it can regulate flow 10 percent you can open the valve or 20 percent 40 percent 60 percent like that so flow regulating valves there are again three types one is the most common is the butterfly valve the second one is the diaphragm valve and the third one is the globe valve here the globe valve is very mo most commonly used so there are three types examples of uh, uh, flow regulating one is the butterfly second one is the globe valve and the third one is diaphragm valve then direct third category the general category is the flow direction direction of flow direction of flow means only one direction the flow can be uh, controlled in one direction example only one type is a check valve another name for nrv non return valve non return valve is the example for uh, check and uh, flow direction valve last type is uh, safety relief valve pressure, pressure regulating valve pressure Pressure regulating means the flow in a container can be regulated by means of valve. So for preventing any accident, damage to equipment or accident, that type of valves are two types. One is a safety valve, second one is relief valve. And safety valve is used for gas and the relief valve is used for liquids. These are the different types of valves classification. So these classifications are very important and the function of each one and the examples and all these valves are widely used in oil and gas industry and uh, uh, oil and gas industry. Now we will discuss one by one. I will show you one, number one. Here this is the first one, uh, isolation valve. This is the gate valve. And here the important parts are this is the stem. This is the stem. This stem is the rod inside. And this is the gate. So this gate will, uh, you can either raise the gate there so that the flow liquid can come and uh, we can go leave it to the other side. This is the gate. And there is the here, this is the dis, uh, valve seat. Seat is very important. Seat is here because the uh, gate fit on the seat. And this is the gate on both sides. The surface should be clean. If there is scratch, there is chance for leak. Leaking is another name is called a passing of the valve. Passing of the valve means there is a leak, so more scratch. So that you need to do the lapping to prevent any uh, leak. And this is the gasket also here. Now this is the bonnet. And uh, then this is the uh, gland. This is the gland and this is the gland packing and this area is called a stuffing box and this is a stem and this stem is, uh, this is called a rising stem because the stem is rising to open and if you close this rise, this stem will go down so this is the inlet and this is the discharge outlet and these are the important parts so gauge uh, valve seat and then there is the uh, stem and this is the stuffing box and uh, this is a packing and this is a gland and this is, this is the uh, hand wheel for uh, uh, opening and closing the valve and uh, this is the bonnet and the yoke and the name is yoke this is the yoke these are the important parts and here we come the pipe 
and there will be flange here and in between flange there will be gaskets. This is the bottom gate valve. This is the isolation, either, either stop or uh, close. And uh, this is the second one. This is a ball valve, this is also isolation. So the isolation valve, uh, here you can see this is, this is the important parts of, this is the ball and this is the valve seat as a ball valve seat and then this is the handle for opening and this is a 90 degree opening means uh, if you turn quarter 90 degree either you can open or close so you can see 90 degree there are this one 360 degrees there are here 90 degree and uh, this is also uh, this is the for example this position is open position and this position is close position because it will stop so this is the uh, second uh, classification then third type is this is the plug valve Plug valve is also isolation. This is the, called a plug, and uh, this is a seat here. Plug. This is a stem, and there's a handle. The handle is missing here, and uh, this is the inlet. So you can see here, this through the hole, liquid will go and uh, go out from this side. This is the inlet, and this is the discharge side. So this is the plug. Important parts are seat, plug, and uh, this is the stuffing box where the, the put the packing to prevent any leak. And uh, this is a handle here, stem here. And this is the body and these are the important parts here this comes the gasket and the flange and you can see here you can one of the specialty of this plug is you can see it's a groove here these grooves are all around the plug there are grooves these grooves are for lubricating the uh, uh, seat uh, so, so the lubricating the plug because when it is turned there is possible to scratch to prevent if there is a lubrication grease here it will prevent any damage and scratch and you see opening and closing this will help you so these are three types of uh, isolation valve <coughs> and uh, here you can see come here uh, if you can see the specification of the valley any valley as for the asme and the ansi american society of mechanical engineers and the ansi ASI, Na american national standards institute the if you buy oil and gas industry definitely the, all the valves are asked for the ansi ansi or asme specification so you can see the size also you can from here here this size is companies manufacturing companies here and uh, here here this three inch size is three inch this is three inch three inch and 150 is the pound is the pressure it can handle 150 and made of steel and this is the company which made manufacturing company of this uh, gate valve and also here also you can see here this is a three inch here and the same thing here the 150 is the pound pound is the pressure it can handle so all the valves the stamping is there see stamping will give you uh, and uh, as per the asme specification stamping is very important so these are the isolation valves now coming to <coughs> flow regulating valve number one this is the globe valve globe and this is the globe and this is a stem, important parts, globe, stem, and this is a seat, valve seat, and this is a stem, you can see a stem with a thread, and, and uh, then this is a handle, and this is the body, and uh, here this is the inlet, uh, and uh, discharge is, this is the inlet, and uh, this is a discharge, inlet coming from here, and discharge is here, this is the globe valve, and this is a flow regulator, you can either control 10%, 20%, 30%, like that, not like a previous one, so diaphragm valve. Then coming to this one, <coughs> this is the <coughs> this valve is called diaphragm valve. So diaphragm valve, and this is the diaphragm. This diaphragm is a flexible membrane. Here, see this here, hard rubber or sometimes metal also. Here, this is a diaphragm. Here, this is a flexible, and this is a suction. This is the inlet, and this is the discharge, and this is a stem and handle. And here, there is a stuffing box where you put the packing also to prevent any leak. And uh, this is the, here also there is a gasket here. Here this one uh, bottom portion and the uh, top vertical other portion is there. And in between there is a gasket to prevent any leak. These are the important parts of this is the uh, diaphragm valve. And last one, third one is butterfly valve. This is a butterfly valve. And this is, this is a butterfly disc. And this is a stem. And uh, here, uh, it, this also is a flow regulating. 10%, 20%. Say for example, now it is uh, full. Whereas this one is now 20%, 30% like that. So you can, uh, this is 10%. So like that you can adjust the flow, quantity of liquid. And here this is the stem and it's a disc. And uh, here also hard rubber is here, both sides. And this is the body. And uh, here there is a small gearbox. This gearbox and purpose of gearbox is to control the, regulate the opening. 
10 percent 20 percent 30 percent like that so this is this is about this uh, uh, butterfly wall so three types of uh, flow regulating one is butterfly this is the diaphragm and this is the globe wall and the specifications are all mentioned in this stamped here you can see for example this diaphragm wall the specification is two and a half inch two and half inch size here this is two and a half inch the diameter of the pipe here inlet two and a half inch and this is the manufacturing and also it can handle 150 pound here 150 is the uh, specification in this pound this is about as for asme and the ansi all walls should be stamped on the body with the uh, specifications now coming to so we have seen uh, two types of categories one is isolation and the second one is the uh, flow regulating now third category is flow direction flow direction ball means Check valve, look here, this is the one. <coughs> this valve, this is the, this side from the, liquid is coming from this side. And it is, it will open. This, uh, this uh, flapper, this flapper will open and the liquid will come here. And it cannot go back because when the pressure comes, liquid goes back because of the pressure, this will close. That is why it's called a non-return valve, NRV, no, or either name is check valve. And uh, this is, uh, the important parts are, this is the flapper, disc, and uh, here this is the body and, and then there is the here there will be gasket here and also there will be a pipeline and here also there's a plant and a gasket here these are the important parts and uh, this is uh, non detail one direction flow only one direction and in this type of valve uh, you can see the direction of flow and it is marked on the uh, uh, body look here this is the uh, direction so from liquid is coming from here and goes this way direction is here all check valve or non return valve you can see the direction of flow. This is about uh, 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 non return valve. And the specification is here uh, 2 to 150 pound. We can take and the manufacturer here and the steel, material is steel. And uh, all this, this is the material manufacturer. So these details are given here. Size is a 2 inch size here. And 150 is the pound uh, pressure you can handle. These are about the three types of classification. Last category is uh, safety valve. Look here, this is a safety valve. Safety valve, I told you, safety valve is for a gas and relief valve is for a liquid. And the safety valve is actually when the when a container, okay, a compressor or any boiler, when the, there is a specified pressure and a working pressure. And if the working pressure exceeds, immediately the safety valve will open and discharge to prevent any accident, damage or accident. That's why that's function of safety valve. And if it is a liquid is used, Definitely uh, relief valve is used. For example, boiler. Steam is considered as a, not a gas, it's a moisture, the, like a, a steam water content is there. Therefore, it is a relief valve is used. Whereas the air compressor, they use the, all air compressors uh, use the safety valve. And here the important parts are, so this is uh, here from down the inlet, inlet, and this is the discharge. And uh, here the, uh, this is the uh, inlet and this is the discharge. And uh, here you can see the cover. And there's a spring is very important factor because spring is the uh, component which uh, actually hold the pressure. And the, when the liquid or uh, the gas comes from here, there is a disc, another important component disc. This disc, disc will be lifted and the excess pressure will be released through the discharge. That is, that is the uh, working of this. Uh, safety valve. So when the liquid or a excess pressure, uh, there's a particular limit is there and the, that limit is exceeds the gas or uh, the liquid uh, will push the disc up and uh, release through the discharge side and uh, that is what the, uh, the function and uh, because of this the pressure is handled and holding by means of the spring. If that spring is damaged definitely it will not work and it will uh, this, it will fail and uh, here there is a nut here this is for nut for uh, actually for adjusting the uh, spring tension and also there is a here there is a locking the pressure also there is a screw here this this is the screw and this screw will uh, fit on the here this is like a gear thing like this so this will go inside and lock once uh, the safety people once they set the pressure then it will be locked nobody can uh, adjust so that is how it is working and the nut also and once this nut is adjusted and, and set the pressure there you see here this will lock and there will be a uh, there is a uh, 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 no item by, by which we can uh, nobody can uh, manipulate the 
uh, pressure setting. That's about the important part. So this is the inlet, discharge, and this is the valve seat, and the nozzle. Here there's a nozzle, and there's a stem, and this is the uh, spring, and also here there's a lock nut for adjusting the spring uh, force, and uh, here there's a screw for adjusting again the spring force setting, pressure setting, and these are the important parts of safety relief valve. That's about this uh, safety valve. And uh, this also and the globe valve, you can see. It's a globe valve. They have, this is a globe, we all discussed before. Globe valve is a floor regulating valve. This is a globe stem. And uh, here, this is the stuffing box. And this is a gland. And uh, here, this, uh, uh, this is the stem and this handle. And the inlet and discharge. So that's about this type of valves. And coming to maintenance of valves, the important thing is uh, if there is a passing of the valve, means there is a leak on the through the seat or from the uh, from the body or for the possibility of leaks there are four possibilities one is through the gaskets then second one is through the seat valve seat and then third one is the through the gland packing and also last one is through the outer cover body or uh, a part if a small crack is there these are the important these are the places where possibilities of uh, leak and if there is a leak uh, through the um, uh, the valve seat then you need to lap, do the lapping of the valve seat and the valve uh, well, gate or uh, plug with the uh, lapping paste and uh, there is a method by which we can lap so that the scratch can be removed and the high polished surface will get so that uh, there is not there are very leak. And also once when you open a valve, you need to change the gasket also. That is the important thing. These are the maintenance of uh, uh, valves. That's about valves and uh, you need to go through the lab uh, report and answer the questions, label the important parts and the function of each valve also right and complete the lab report. Thank you.